Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Guess I better take the stairs. Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? I bought ten minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son? Is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dal, but I really wanted to see ya. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh. Uh. Ugh! <sighs> 
I'll see you again, asshole. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Oh, Clyde. Oh. oh. Reporters. Already. Huh. They seem well informed. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really gonna love it here. God. My hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. I noted that name somewhere. What was it? Blake. Lieutenant Carter Blake. Yeah, that's it. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left, if there were any to start with. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks.
I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy... I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. Reporters? Already? Huh. They seem well informed. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really gonna love it here. Noted that name somewhere. What was it? Blake. Lieutenant Carter Blake. Yeah, that's it. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. I'm soaking wet. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left. If there were any to start with. I've got to find Lieutenant Carter Blake. Lieutenant Blake? I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. 
Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit-stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine-tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, we'll find it. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Harry Cameron, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Harry commented, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion.
Ari comment, sample of no interest, comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Ari comment, pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Ari comment, traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Harry Connor, there are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. There's a good chance that they're the killers. tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. I think I've seen all there is to see. I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. <laughs> 